the entire year, April 2024 is one of the most intense, explosive, and action-packed months, and anything can go. We're gonna have Mercury retrograde in Aries, a total solar eclipse in Aries, Venus in Aries, a full moon in Scorpio, and also to top it off, Mars in Aries. So there's just so much fiery, ferocious, action-packed energy. Like, life is gonna be chaotic this month. For some people, it's gonna be positive. For some people, it might be quite a turning of the tides. Now, if you wanna find out if your zodiac sign will be impacted by April, keep on watching. What's up, everyone? It's Rhea, and today I'm gonna be talking about April and the astrology of April, the energy, what to expect, the cosmic events that are occurring this month, and also which zodiac signs will be impacted the most. Now I'm gonna go through all the events chronologically, so I'm gonna start off from April the 1st and end with April the 30th, which is so ironic because we're starting off April the 1st with Mercury in retrogrades in the sign of Aries, which is all about reflecting and going inwards and exploring, you know, your mind, your emotions, what's going on in life, what do you want, are you happy, are you unhappy, is there something you need to figure out, is there something you need to sort, is there any karma you need to release? And then on the end of the spectrum, at the end of the month, on April the 30th, we're gonna have Mars that enters Aries and it's gonna be in its home sign and Mars is all about getting things done, being action oriented, getting your goals ticked off, getting through your bucket list, making things happen. It's a go-getter energy. It doesn't stop. It doesn't wait for anyone. It doesn't take it slow. It gets what it wants. It's a manifestation energy. It's a creational energy. So the start of the month, the pace is going to be slow and introspective and a little more calmer because as the month gradually picks up and we have a total solar eclipse and Venus and Aries and the full moon and Scorpio and then ending the month with Mars and Aries on April the 30th it's gonna be just a whole nother energy it's gonna be quick fast sharp and anything can happen so buckle up because you're gonna be in for a ride and we have a lot to unpack so with that being said let's get started on April the 1st Mercury the planet of communication travel the higher mind esoterically will be going retrograde at 27 degrees of Aries and it will be in retrograde until April the 25th when then it will station direct at 15 degrees of Aries. So there is going to be quite some inner turmoil because when Mercury goes retrograde, it's all about reflecting and slowing down and there can be some delays or you may feel like life is just not going the way you're wanting it to go or the way you planned it to go. Things can get delayed and things can happen. There can be some issues or just energies from the past coming right up that you have to address and figure out so you then can move forward. So with Mercury, Mercury being in Aries, it's not a gentle energy, especially when it's in retrograde. It is destructive. And there can be a lot of destruction that occurs this month. But sometimes destruction can feel like realignment when you let things go that don't serve you. So like your spiritual warrior within awakens, that fire regenerates within you, the sacred flame expands and your passion is greater than ever and your lustful life is just more than ever too. So there is so much beauty in April, although it can be quite intense and you can feel like, what the F is going on? Now usually when Mercury is in Aries, it is very sharp and fierce and blunt. It says whatever is on its mind without thinking things through and it can definitely piss a lot of people off because it's not afraid of saying something that is offensive or something that comes across as insensitive. And sometimes with Mercury and Aries, this energy or people who have this energy don't think things through before they say something and that's what can get them in trouble and there can be a lot of that and your temperament as well is gonna be just very fiery and ferocious during this month you may not have any patience you may feel like you can't tolerate anyone's BS this month but on the positive this mercury retrograde can help you get your voice back things that you were laying off saying because you didn't want to hurt somebody else's feelings or perhaps you were being a little too passive or you were afraid there was some type of fear involved but really what you were doing is destructing yourself because you weren't saying your truth you weren't speaking your truth and it doesn't matter about how others 
receive it, it's about, am I living and speaking my truth? Am I doing everything with truth? But by the end of Mercury Retrograde, you can find back your voice. Say it how it is. Speak your truth. Be clear. Be direct. And provide clarity. No matter if it's going to hurt somebody's feelings or you feel like they're not going to speak to you anymore. Or if you feel like you're going to be, you know, offending people. It's not about that. It's about voicing your truth as long as it's coming from love. And that's what Mercury Retrograde can help you with by the end of this cycle. So it's about finding your truth, regenerating your truth during this time. And this Mercury Retrograde is going to impact those that have any Aries or Libra placements from 15 to 27 degrees. Look at your chart. Do you have any planets in those signs around or in between those degrees? If you do, then you'll be impacted by this Mercury Retrograde the most. And you will not be able to tame that fire, what's been holding you down for a while, what you've been wanting to get off your chest. You'll not be able to hold it or tame it. In fact, the more you try to control that part of you, it's just going to retaliate even more. So it's all about finding your truth and finding your passion, finding your strength, your fire, and activating that spiritual warrior, knowing that your words are spells. Everything that comes out of your mouth is a spell. And you can either create or destroy with those spells. On April the 5th, Venus, the planet of love and relationships, enters fiery Aries. And it will be in Aries until April the 29th. So relationships and partnerships will be very intense as well. Like, just life is going to be intense. And this is going to be even more intense for those that have planets in Libra or Aries. Because a couple of days after, on April the 8th, we have a total solar eclipse at 19 degrees. So we already know with the south node being in the sign of Libra, the north node being in the sign of Aries, the energy of this year is all about independence and partnerships and relationships and your needs, your desires, and how they fit in relationships. Are your relationships in alignment with who you are and the path that you're on? The lunar nodes are encouraging us to take a look at everyone in our life. And are they divinely inspiring us? Are they expanding us, igniting the sacred fire within, or are they holding us back? And on April the 8th, with a total solar eclipse, it's going to bring a new energy. And this energy can manifest depending on your chart. For some people, this could be a new opportunity that occurs in their life or they have this new activation or something changes in their life because eclipses impact major areas of life you really have to look at your chart and see where this eclipse is falling in your chart and what axis is impacting because that axis is going to shed more light on how this eclipse may manifest although eclipses can also be very unpredictable no matter how much you learn about astrology or study astrology you'd be surprised how life still has mystery to it and you can never be in control of absolutely everything and I feel like those that are interested in astrology I mean we have to be a bit of control freaks because we want to know absolutely everything right but let me tell you from my experience I know that the more you want to know about your future and you resist the magic of the mystery the more life will shock you it's much more easier to take a seat back and just relax and go with the flow because it's part of the journey. And the signs that will be impacted the most by this total solar eclipse are, of course, if you have any planets or angles in the sign of Aries and Libra. So look at your chart. Do you have Aries and Libra at 19 degrees or close by? Like any planets, any angles? Because if you do, then you will be impacted by this eclipse the most and it will manifest strongly for you. On April the 19th, the energy slightly changes. Not entirely because there's still going to be intensity and unpredictability and intensity, but it's going to change slightly and that's because the sun will enter Taurus. And when the sun is in Taurus, collectively we're more focused on comfort and pleasure and relationships and things that make us feel good. So this could be through food, this could be through shopping, this could be through buying things or going on a vacation, a staycation or spending more time with people that you love and just doing things that make you feel happy and good. But aside from the casual stuff, what we're really going to be focusing on stability because April can be a month where it feels like we have a lack of stability, where it feels like everything is going a little wild and it's hard to catch up because the energy is going so quickly, so fast. It's moving like so intensely and you can't catch a break and you're like, why does my life feel like it's all over the place? Why can I not 
get a grip of it. And that's because of all that fiery, ferocious, unpredictable Aries energy. The Mercury retrograde in Aries, the Venus in Aries, the solar eclipse in Aries. So life can feel a little chaotic. So when the sun enters Taurus, although we're focusing on comfort and enjoying life a little more because maybe it was just so all over the place and we just want to breathe for a moment and smell the roses, but also we're focusing on stability. But on April the 21st, we're going to have Jupiter conjunct Uranus. Now, Jupiter is a planet of optimism and faith and spirituality, and it's a larger than life energy. It wants to feel good all the time. It's all about go big or go home, and it can definitely expand your life. And Uranus is all about freedom and liberation and a revolution. So this is going to be major when Jupiter and Uranus come together in the sign of Taurus. Now, collectively, this can manifest very positively where something new occurs in our life that has to do with stability, that has to do with perhaps money or food, anything that is resourceful, anything that we need to survive in this 3D world. Like there can be like a new system that brings us more independence, that brings us more stability and comfort because the last couple of years, especially with Uranus and Taurus, life has been unpredictable. It's been all over the place. However, Jupiter is not always as positive as people may think it to be because if you've ever gone through a Jupiter transit, you may have hoped and wished for something to manifest a certain way, but it can surprise you because Jupiter is a larger than life energy. And when it comes together with Uranus, the planet that is also very unpredictable and can shake up your life, anything can go down. Because on the other hand, when Jupiter and Uranus come together, there could be a potential because there's many timelines. There could be a potential where life becomes even more chaotic and we can question life. There could be some type of spiritual crisis and this is not me putting out fear. It's just being realistic. Life is not all roses and butterflies and you're not going to get that on my channel either. You're going to get the truth and the truth is there are many timelines playing out and we never really know with Uranus. Uranus is an energy that will also surprise you, that is unpredictable. You can't put it in a box, you can't predict it because it will always shock you. So something major can happen where we do as a collective go through another spiritual crisis that has to do with our stability because Jupiter conjoining with Uranus can actually exaggerate the Uranus and Taurus energy. And Uranus and Taurus, it's uncomfortable. It doesn't like to be in Taurus because Taurus is all about stability and Uranus is all about let me be a free, wild, sovereign soul. So we'll have to wait and see. And this Jupiter and Uranus conjunction is going to, of course, impact those that have Taurus in their chart. So look at where 21 degrees of Taurus is in your chart. And also if you have any Scorpio placements at 21 degrees. April the 23rd, if you thought life was already too wild and chaotic and you couldn't catch your breath, well, buckle up because we have a full moon in Scorpio at 4 degrees. So the sun will be in Taurus at 4 degrees and the moon will be in Scorpio at 4 degrees. So what does this mean? Okay, the Scorpio full moon. This is a time where when it comes to doing real soul healing, when it comes to transmuting energy, dense energy that you've been holding on to, when it comes to cutting cords, when it comes to releasing karma, when it comes to the dark night of the soul, like this is a full moon in Scorpio. Your emotions will be so intense. This is probably the peak of the month because you've already gone through the Mercury retrograde and I mean you're continuing to go through that energy and then the total solar eclipse and then you're Uranus and Jupiter coming together and then here comes this full moon in Scorpio and it's ready to release because it has absorbed so much emotion, so much energy. It's feeling so sensitive like a volcano. It can't take any more. The energy has to be released or it has to be transmuted and the full moon in Scorpio is going to help you do that. This could definitely support you in your healing, in your soul work, in your shadow work, in reawakening different parts of your soul that were asleep when it comes to igniting the sacred fire within you and everything that's been occurring since the beginning of April or even the beginning of the year or even the beginning of last year that is ready to be released for once and for all, this full moon in Scorpio will help you. So a spiritual exorcism is on its way on April the 23rd with this full moon in Scorpio. And this full moon in Scorpio is going to impact those that have Taurus and Scorpio placements specifically at four degrees or close by. So look at your chart. Where does this axis fall in your chart? Because wherever it does, there is going to be a major spiritual exorcism occurring in your life. And at the end of the month, April the 30th, Mars enters its home sign Aries. So all the shedding, all the releasing, all the soul healing that you've been doing, you are now reborn with Mars and 
Aries and you are ready to go and do what you came here to do, be who you're born to be and there's nothing that's going to be stopping you, okay? Because Mercury retrograde is now direct. This total solar eclipse has passed by. The full moon in Scorpio has passed by and now it's time to go and live life. And Mars and Aries is all about being unstoppable, being a spiritual warrior and manifesting. And it's a nice little ending to April because it's like we're being reborn again. We have just reignited that fire, reignited our energy, and now it's time to pick up that pace and go. No putting your foot on the brakes. It's all about putting your foot on the gas and going and seeing what is ahead and not letting anything hold you back. So April 2024, I mean, what a month. Oh my goodness, I can't even believe I got through this video because, I mean, just tuning into that energy, I'm feeling exhausted. I'm feeling tired. I'm like, what the F? Like, what is April going to be like? I mean, I can see from the astrology, but energetically, when we're going to go through it, like physically and emotionally, that's just going to be a whole nother level. Now, let me go through the zodiac signs that will be impacted the most this month in April 2024. So, of course, if you have Aries and Libra in your charts, you'll be impacted the most because we're going to have a Mercury retrograde in Aries, we're going to have a total solar eclipse in Aries, we're going to have Venus and Mars in Aries, and also if you have Taurus and Scorpio in your chart because we're going to have the sun that moves into Taurus, we're going to have Jupiter and Uranus in a conjunction, and we're going to have the full moon in Scorpio. So look at your chart, look if you have those placements. I will leave all the details about the transits and cycles of this month, so you can look at your chart and look at the description below and see if you'll be impacted or not. And for one-to-one -one readings, you can check out my website, I'll leave the link down below, and I hope you have a beautiful, expansive month. <laughs>